guys, how's it going? I'm Rush XD here, and welcome guys back to another plugin showcase. Where today's plugin showcase is on this amazing plugin called Bank. I like it, I really recommend it for you guys. Of course, it's always in the description below, so check it out if you want to download it. And of course, it does require a second plugin installed, which is the core. And it's pretty simple, just put both of these plugins in, and you'll be all set to go. Now, what it is, what's well, basically a plugin that allows you to store your items in a virtual bank. You can add a pin so no one can get your items, even if somebody's using your Minecraft account, which I highly doubt it. And yeah, basically it's so simple like that. So you have to do for the basic command is slash bank. And then if you want to open up your bank, you have to do slash bank open. Now you can see all these commands right here on my left bottom screen, and they are important but you can do them via GUI. That's why I like it. The creator, developer, he was amazing. He made it all via G GUI, so thanks a lot. And yeah, so if you do that, here you have your pin options, just basically setting and removing your pin, and pretty much that it. So I'm gonna add a pin, let's see here. Uh, set your pin. I'm gonna add it, um, I'm gonna make it zero, 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 zero. Top secret, I, I know, right? And there we go, that's our pin right there. Now here we can check all of our items, which now we have, I'm gonna put it on tab two. So you can have a lot of tabs and a lot of space to put them. So I'm gonna put two here, and I'm gonna put another two here, and then I'm gonna put another two here, and then I'm just gonna put them all around like that. Oh, can't do that. <laughs> okay, so there we go, they're nicely separated. I have everything, I have Jeb right here, I have Bob right there, okay, there we go. So that's all of our storage. You can click the red button right here, and right here, you can get, you can even store your XP, which is amazing for somebody like me that dies a lot in survival. And yeah, so right here we have our XP. Now here you can withdraw, and over here in the green, you can deposit. I read deposit around, let's see, where is it? There we go. So right there, I clicked on withdraw all of them. So right here, it says you have withdrawn 2,586 XP, which is equivalent of 38 levels. Wow, that's not as much as I thought it was. So of course you can always add them, you can do a via command so you can always throw a certain amount of XP if you want to do some special enchanting, but I would recommend just withdrawing all of them because of course that's more secure if you're mining or anything like that. So I'm going to click back here. As I said, you can change the amount of tabs each player has via the config or just via command which is really nice and simple. I'm just going to take a few items back. As you can see right there, it's pretty simple, we'll just click back. Now of course, like I said, you can always do them via command slash bank and then if you do admin, that will show you all the admin commands bank xp in and out if you just put bank xp bank xp there we go that'll show you all the xp commands it's pretty nice and really simple and organized that's why i like it so we can do that bank pin and okay so let's just pin restart so we can pin, we can restart a certain player's pin i'm gonna restart mine i don't know why and yeah so we can also add them out slots doing slash bank slots and then click enter that will show you all the everything here so i'm gonna remove a, a few slots of mine all right, so I'm gonna do slash bank slots, remove diamond rush xd, and that's basically your player name or the player you want to remove slots from. And I'm just gonna put I don't know, I'm gonna remove four slots. So there we go. Now the available slots are nine, and total slots are twelve. Okay, so as you can see right there, I remove slots. Everything is also do a via config. It's pretty simple, really nice, and highly configurable. All right, so let's take a quick look at the config. Now I'm just gonna open up my folder. Right here we have the bank and the core plugin. It doesn't make a folder, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. It's just for the bank plugin to work. So I'm just gonna open that up. Here we have players, and this is basically all the player configs, where what items they have in their banks, what XP, and that's basically it, and slots of course. Bot slots, zero. I didn't buy any at all, and this is the last time they were logged in, so yeah, it's really important. Next thing we have is, we have the chest, which is absolutely nothing. Okay, so next one is config. Now the config basically just for you to mess around with the bank, the virtual bank, of course. And here we have the amount of default slots when a player joins. We can change that to one. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm rude. I don't want anybody to have one. We can sell them. True. I can change that to false. And max buy slot three hundred. So you can only buy up to 300 slots. You can add a permission for that. And yeah, um, the money, you can enable money right here. So this is the max amount of money. This right here is the max amount of P and if it's enabled or not. And yeah, you can enable pin, which is true. Of course, I love the pin feature. If it expires, it expires in 30 days. So if not on it until 30 days, boom, it's gone. All right. <laughs> Next thing is death. Lose items and death. You can change that so it can probably just be more of an inventory thing instead of a bank thing. So if they, when they die, they will lose their items so you can change that to items for money and for xp i don't want to do that because that would be just totally rude of me 
and tabs enabled throughout. I would just recommend keeping these all in the default, but of course you guys can change them at free will. Just make sure if you change them, don't come running to me that something's wrong. Next thing we have is item list. Item list is basically all the items that are allowed in the slots of the chest or bank if you really want to call it. And then we have more items over here and that is, and we all have the language. So pretty simple. If you want to change any of the commands, so when you type in a command, it will change it and basically say your language, go free. You can change it whatever you want to. So yeah, I like it. I highly recommend you guys going down below and downloading it right now. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like down below. If you guys want to see any other videos, make sure to view it, comments. And yeah, I'm Dumb Rush XD, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Oh